Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dimitri. Today we're going to be working with Windows Forms. So uh, let's just create a new project and uh, let's just type Windows Forms is available on .NET Framework and .NET Core. Uh, once you open this project, you're going to have a designer here. So Form 1 Design in my case. All right, then you're gonna have a toolbox where you're gonna have all the options. So to start with Windows Forms, uh, it's better to start with the common controls, okay? So the common controls are going to show you a few options that you're gonna be using always. So you need a button always, right? So probably you need to uh, submit some information uh, to someone else or you need to manage data. You need some sort of functionality. So you'll need to click a button. So let's just drag and drop this button here. Let's just make it a little bit bigger. That's going to be my button one. Another thing that you're going to be using all the time is a label. So I can just drag and drop as well. So it's going to give you this option to kind of align with the button so you can design uh, the label better. Okay, and the last thing that I want to show you today is the text box. So usually you need a text box as well. Okay, perfect. So they can, uh, you can align that one too. All right. So what is a label? Basically, um, you have these properties to your uh, right side. And if you click the button or the label or the text box, all of those are going to show you properties. So uh, we're going to be working with the label one for now. If you scroll all the way down, sorry, all the way up. It's going to tell you, okay, this has a name. It's called label one. You can even sort it out by descendant or ascendant order. So if you have a label one here and you want, and if you want to change the name, Let's just call this name, okay? That's a meaningful name. So my label one now has a name called name. I want to do the same with um, my text box. So text box one, I'm going to call this text name okay perfect and then my button I'm gonna call this uh, button message perfect so we basically worked with the same logic I gave it a name to all of my uh, controls okay so to my label my button and my text box why am i doing that because when i start coding i want to know that this label one it's going to be referencing a name so i'm gonna put a name here and a name here so i'm gonna type let's say uh i don't know uh cassandra or Kaylee, whatever name I have here, but that's going to be a name. Then I'm going to copy this label and I'm going to create a address or a zip code. I can create a multiple, you know, multiple properties. All right, let's start with uh, changing this label one. So I just changed the name. But now what I want to do is like you can come here to the properties and you can start like scrolling down you can change the colors okay the borders you can keep scrolling 
you'll see that you can change the font okay now we just have a uh, black all right we can just create images we can create margins you can increase the size all right in text this is a very important one text I'm going to have this as my name. If I change this as my name, or let's just call it first name, I'm going to see this name over here. So if you guys take a look at this, now label one has disappeared and now I got the first name. So you guys just make sure that don't get confused between the text uh, option with the name, okay? Perfect. So let's just uh, take a look at this again. So my text, it's first name and my name is name. All right, so one is for uh, displaying and one is for coding. We can do the same with the button. If we click here once and we go all the way down to text, I can change the name here. So this is going to say uh, send, for example. Now you can see that it changed. All right, so the same thing. Let's just click over here and just make the difference between what is text and what is a name. So the name is for coding and the text is for displaying this. So if I double click on the send button, so I'll have my uh, all the code in here okay button message which is the name that I assigned so button message if I go back to the form and I scroll all the way up that's gonna be my name all right and let's just make this a little bit bigger So now you guys know the basics. So if you want to uh, keep creating more uh, properties, you can just either copy and paste this and then change the names. So you can just come over here to text all the way down, remember? And this is going to be a last name, last name perfect and then you know exactly what you have to change now so you can just either copy this one and paste it here or you can just come over here to the common controls and create a new uh, text box for last name so you can just drag it and drop it oh sorry just do it again okay then you can just play around with the size but the logic is the same do you want to create another button probably to cancel everything or whatever functionality you want to put in the same thing you can just copy and paste it and then change the names or you can just come here to the common controls and create a new button same thing you can just drop and drag okay so i got the second button i can press delete and just get rid of the button that's perfect so if i double click also here in my label it'll show me the code behind so the buttons have code behind and the labels too I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you in the next video.